everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and today we are going to learn how to make the shadow box effect in our web page. In order to do this, you're going to need Dreamweaver, you're going to need a site defined in Dreamweaver, you're going to need a default images folder, and you're going to need somehow to get on the internet to preview this and to download the shadow box effect. If you have all this stuff, let's get started. So, I'm going to go to my Internet Explorer, my Safari page, and you want to go to shadowbox-js.com. And now that you're on the Shadowbox page, let's just preview what a Shadowbox really is real quick. So if you click this tiger, this is the Shadowbox effect. It blackens out the entire screen. It gives you a really nice image. You can make the image whatever size you want. You can do images. You can do SWF files, YouTube clips, whatever you want. So how do you get it? I'm going to show you right now. In your in, on the shadow box page, you're obviously going to see this big thing that says download. Click this. And then click all of these different things that you can have your shadow box do. Trust me, you're going to want them all because you never know what you're going to want your shadow box to do down the road. So it's better to just have them all. I already have mine, so I'm not going to download this. But after you click them all, click the zip file, and it will download literally in about five seconds. So after you've downloaded it, go into your finder or wherever your downloads are saved and find that Shadowbox file. As you can see, I have Shadowbox 3.3 or whatever right here. So click that, and here is all my files in the Shadowbox folder. So wherever your files are, open up that folder, and you'll see close.png, express, install, all the things that you just downloaded. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all these files and hit Command or Control C to copy the files. Now I'll just close that out. So now that we have the files, we need to put those files into our site so that our site can use those files. So go to wherever your site is saved. You might have it on a USB. You might have it on your desktop. I have mine on my desktop, and I have it called First Site right here. So I'm going to double-click this, and in your site, right next to your default images folder, click in there and hit Command or Control V. So now you've placed all those files into your site so that your site can manipulate those files. Trust me, we're on the right path. So close this out, and now we are going to get the images that we want to make the shadow box effect with. So I've picked two images here. I have this little Dreamweaver icon, and then I have this big Dreamweaver icon. So all you need to do is save those images into your default images folder. So this is going to be real quick. I'm going to right click this save image as and I'm going to go to my default images folder and I'm going to call this thumbnail dot jpg and click save and I'm going to go to my big file and I'm going to right click it save image as and I'm going to go to my default images folder and I'm going to call it big dot jpg and save it I'm going I'll use png okay so now that I have my two files I'm going to go into Dreamweaver I'm going to create a new HTML in my site. And as you can see, all those things that we just pasted into your site are now down here. I know it looks like a lot of gibberish, but it's what we need. So let's save this file, save, and let's call it um, shadow underscore box and click save. So now we need to insert that thumbnail image onto our web page. So go to your insert common panel, click image and click thumbnail and click choose. No alternate text necessary. So now we have our thumbnail image and now we want to link it to our big image. So click that, go to link, choose the file that you want. So we are going to link it to our big file and click choose. So now let's preview this in a browser and see what it looks like. As you can see when we click this, we go to the big image, but it doesn't do the shadow box effect. Well, there's a couple more steps on what we need to do to make it do that cool shadow box effect. What we need to do is we need to insert a little bit of text into our header tag. So now we're in design view. We need to go to code view, and you see where it says head here and head here? We need to insert a little JavaScript into our head tag. So after title, let's do three enters. And let's go to line 7, and here's where we are going to insert that um, little bit of text. What we need is we need to go back to our shadow box page, go to the page that says usage, 
And this is the text that we are going to copy and paste into our head tag. See, it says head tag right here. So copy this, go into Dreamweaver, and paste it. Now we're almost done. The last thing you're going to see in shadow box is it's going to see you need to add this rel equals shadow box attribute to each link. So right after the a href and the close parentheses or the close quotation marks, you need to add rel equals shadow box right after the close quotation marks. So let's go to our image. You're going to see these close quotation marks right here. Uh, after the um, a href and you see the image and then you see close quotation marks. So we're going to type in rel equals shadow box. So now it's going to tell the um, computer that when you click this link, use the shadow box effect. So let's refresh this. Let's go file, save, and then let's preview it in Safari. And now when we click that DW, we get the shadow box effect. So uh, this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and thank you for watching your first shadow box tutorial, and I hope this was useful.